Okay guys, so a real quick kind of update on how I organized my makeup like I was talking about in my vlog. So on top of my Alex drawer, I just replaced um, or put back this mirror that um, I had in here a while ago and I put my perfumes on it. I moved my flowers that were on top of my desk and I have a little candle burning. Um, so that's basically, I'll step back what that looks like now. And then I do appreciate all of you guys' feedback on, you know, different tips and stuff. That was amazing. Thank you guys. So over here on my desk now, I just have another candle burning. I have my owl lamp. I get a lot of questions about that. I got that at Marshall's a long time ago, probably, I don't know, over a year ago. And I just love it. I never turn it on, but today I decided to. So I have that kind of in the corner. And you can see there's, you know, definitely space between this cube and that. Um, and then I move my cube over here, kind of like what I was thinking about doing. So on the top there, I just have one of those little 12 um, acrylic little cases thing that I got at Ross and Marshalls. I've talked about those before. And I just have 12 lipsticks in there from MAC that um, I'm going to incorporate, you know, daily. And I can switch them out, you know, of course, where my other makeup is. Uh, or my other MAC lipsticks, I can switch them out. But I just put 12, so I make a point to use them. I was realizing while trying to fill this cube with stuff that I think I might use, because obviously I haven't started yet, so I'm not really 100% sure. But I have way too much stuff. So I just thought this is the easiest way. This is going to change, obviously, once I start, because who knows what I'll be, you know, reaching for. I didn't put any eyeshadows or blush over here because I have them um, nice and organized in my Alex drawer. So I can just, you know, reach for those. Um, I mainly put like little bits that I always digging for and always seem to get out of place for me. Um, that's kind of like what I put over here. Um, and then I have this little head wrap that I got at Walmart. It's to keep, it has like a elastic inside to keep your hair back while you're doing your makeup. Uh, cause my flyaways and all that always get down in my face when I'm trying to do it and I don't like to get makeup in my hair. So that was really inexpensive and they had a lot of different styles. So I got that. And then I have my little speaker. This is a jam touch. I got it at Best Buy. It was $19.99 on clearance, originally $40, um, and it's a really loud Bluetooth speaker. Um, I didn't want to invest right now in one of those um, Pels or the Bose or, you know, whatever the big ones are. It's a pretty big investment, and I mainly just wanted it, wanted a speaker because I like to jam my, ma uh, my music from my phone while I apply my makeup and get ready, um, but I, you know, it's just for in here, so I didn't want to make that big of an investment. I just needed something louder than my phone, and this is super loud, very cheap, all different colors. I don't know if they're still on clearance at Best Buy, um, but it's touch, you know, you just touch what you want. It's really, really cool, so, I mean, super inexpensive, and later on I may invest in one of the more expensive ones, but this actually works for what I need right now, and I love it. I've had it for two or three weeks, so I love it. And then I have my little camera remote so I don't lose it. Okay, so this thing, I get, I put this on Instagram and I know a lot of people were asking about it. This is a really good quality and I found it on Amazon for $34.99 and it was free shipping. I've looked since to kind of link it on my Instagram where people have asked and I can't find it. It says it's no longer available. Um, so I don't know really what else you could search for. Um, but if I can find something, I'll definitely let you know because I really love this. And I originally saw this on Instagram. Um, I was just kind of searching like clear storage and this came up in somebody's Instagram and it put what she had typed in. And so I typed it in and it, they had it. So, um, but when I went to the seller that I got it from, it said no longer available. So I'm not sure, but, um, it's a really nice little container. Move my candle. So in the top drawer here, um, I just have kind of like face stuff. So I have my Urban Decay powder that I love, um, my Hourglass Luminous Light powder that I love, but it always gets lost in the mix and I never reach for it, so I wanted to put it in here. I have that Pixi Brightener, um, some concealers, Naked Skin Concealer, um, and Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, and I have my NARS Translucent Crystal Loose Powder and my two primers, the Smashbox, the new one that I have, and the Benefit Professional. But again, this is kind of stuff that kind of gets lost in the mix and I wanted to put it in here so I can just reach for it. If I want to switch it out, it's super easy to do so. So I love that. And then in this drawer here, it came with a divider. This one had dividers too, but it was like in an X formation and I couldn't fit anything in it, so I just took them out. Um, but this one here, 
sorry my camera's wobbly um, I put the left the dividers in I cannot speak um, and over here I just have some of my lipsticks I have a lot of like the liquid lipsticks more long wearing like my Lorac Pro matte lipsticks I have three of those bite beauty um, I have my makeup forever one I've talked about um, some Sephora ones, my Stila Patina that I love. Uh, so basically those lo more long wearing are in there. Over here I have my brow products, uh, my Gimme Brow, my NYX uh, brow gel that I'm starting to fall in love with, my Anastasia uh, brow powder, and then I have some eye primers. Those are just like little samples of the Lorac um, behind the scenes eye primer, so I have those there. And then my uh, Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Um, I like to prime my eyes with that as well. And then over here I have mascaras that I've opened and I'm recently using, so I want to use them up because I buy too much mascara, have too many open, I don't know what, what's what, how old it is, and so these are the ones that I got going on. I have a sample of their Real. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex. Love. Uh, Benefit roller lash uh, still deciding and then I have a lash accelerator which is what I like to use on my bottom lashes so that's there oh and then I have a brow whiz right there okay and then in this bottom one I have eyeliners over here so I have pencils and then I have my uh, Kat Von D trooper and then over here I have some lip products um, that I want to use I have my color pop lipstick uh, lippy sticks um, an it cosmetics one I have my Marc Jacobs makeup forever Kat Von D bare minerals NYX high voltage and the YSL uh, voluped tint and oil and number four I really don't understand the hype on those I'm still deciding on that but I have it in there because I still spent the money on it and I want to use it so that's basically what I moved into there um, and then I have my brushes still my mirror um, which is a Zadro mirror and I absolutely love it um, and then over here I still have the same um, my Mac Fix Plus, Smashbox Primer Water, and then brushes that I've purchased that doesn't that don't fit in here. Have those over there. And then here in this little duo thing, I switched them over so I put my lip liners in the bigger container part and then like my lip crayons that I love in that part. So that's kind of like what I got going on. I got a couple of these clear containers. I've had these for a while and they're actually from Walmart for like two or three dollars. Um, I've had them for a while and there's three compartments. So back here I just have some paint pots because uh, I do love paint pots and I hate digging for them. So I put those there. Uh, a MAC this mineralized skin finish I want to try to use up. Here is some kind of like, you know, more brow products, honestly, like my, and, and you know, like my scissors. Um, there's lash glue in here. There's another brow whiz. It's not really my shade, but you know, I wanted to keep it over here. And then my uh, eyelash curlers, tweezers, sharpeners. That's kind of like what's going on in here. Uh, lip treatments that I like to use or like lip, um, like chapsticks and stuff that I like to use before I start my makeup so I just have those all right there this rose one is really good um, I have a sample of the Dior star foundation that I want to use up and then my Mac pro long wear concealers that I like to grab for and then back here is just more eye primer samples um, and also my Too Faced glitter glue when I use my Mac pressed pigments um, so I have those back there and then I have a couple of samples from Sephora here. And then these are new mascaras that I've had for a while. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I have not opened these. Uh, Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras and I've had this uh, back up for a while. And then I also have a Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara that I haven't tried yet. So I have those in here. Um, a couple of little um, pencils here. Um, my Bobbi Brown Face Moisturizer and Eye, eye Cream. Uh, Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques one. And then I have a Makeup Forever Step 1 uh, sample that I got. Um, there's like four of them in there and so I wanted to try to use those. My makeup wipes are there in the back. And then a little sample of the Benefit Professional License to Blot that I got from Sephora. And then a Corez facial mask and then a Ole Hendrickson serum. So that's basically what I got going on. If you've seen this before, this was a huge mess, but by putting a lot of stuff over there, it actually cleaned it up quite well. So this isn't going to be so much of a hassle um, in the mornings. And then over here, I kind of clean this up a little bit too. Um, so I have my, I have my Kat Von D shade and light palette these are this is some like eyelash comb that I don't really care for it was real cheap but I just put that in there uh, some lip products that I want to use 
um, some new eyeshadows. These are the rest of my powders, a couple of brushes, and then some lip glosses that I want to use. So basically that's kind of like everything that I've changed. So I figured that this is going to be um, a lot better way for me um, to get started with this new job and ro new routine. And again, I'm sure it'll change, but I kind of like laid out stuff that I wanted to organize a little better because stuff was just kind of crammed everywhere. And I, like I said before, I didn't put my um, blush or, you know, my eyeshadows because I have those all organized in there nicely so I can just open the door they're labeled and grab them um, that way I can change it up and I'm not just getting used to like one palette I know a subscriber of mine did tell me to set up like my makeup the night before and that's a really good idea so I might you know do that and just lay out my the palettes that I want to use stuff like that and then all my kind of everyday stuff is in there um, I didn't really have anything to put on the top, so that's why I kind of put that kind of stuff because it's stuff that I do use um, every day when applying my makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of update. I did talk about it on uh, my vlog channel, so I wanted to show you the finished product because I've been working my tail off trying to get this all set up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for all your suggestions and sweet comments on my vlog from yesterday. I really appreciate it, and I did jot down your tips because you guys had some really good ones. So um, love you guys and I will talk to you guys very soon. I did see where a lot of you wanted to see Elaine Bryant haul so I will definitely film that in the next couple of days and have that up for you guys. So again, I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!